this video, we're going to play some games on our PlayStation Classic, but not PlayStation games. We're going to play some MAME games, some Nintendo 64, some Game Boy, some PSP. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, this is a 128 gigabyte pre-made image. Turn your PlayStation Classic into 32 systems. We're also going to check out some other controllers because we're going to we're going to want to use some analog sticks here, especially for Nintendo 64. And then we'll look at the file system here and show you all the different games and how many games per system. Um, this cool little image this is version two. A lot of fixes have been done on it, so let's just go ahead and check it out. So now that I modded my PlayStation Classic with Bleem Sync, I can just plug it in the back here. No problem at all. If you missed that tutorial, it's a good one. Just check, I'll put a link in the description. Really easy to do. So I plugged that in while the power, while the thing is off. Go ahead and turn on my power. I have an inline switch on mine, but uh, you can just unplug it, plug it back in. Yellow light, we're good. Let's go ahead and power it on. And it should uh, blink orange. It should get real orange. Might boot into the stock thing for a second. No, nope. see, we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the webcam now. And here we are, the YB build. And uh, we have our history here, what he's gonna be playing. Go ahead and look. And I have to say the first version of this, a lot of it was broken. And I, I get everyone's, there were some things that weren't working. This is version two, way, way, way better. Um, and so let's go ahead and check this out. We have Atari 2600, Atari 7800, Atari Lynx. We have Wonder Swan Color, Wonder Swan, uh, Coley, Co, Vision. We got Final Burn Alpha arcade games. Then we have Mame games. It's cool that that's separated there. Uh, we have PC Engine next. And as far as the game, how many games in each, uh, I'm going to go over that later in the video when I look at the file structure. PC Engine CD. Super Graphics, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, N64, Nintendo DS, uh, Nintendo, Pokemon Mini. By the way, there's um, they're showing you a Super Family computer system, uh, but this does both. It's Nintendo and the Japanese games. Pokemon Mini, Super Nintendo and Super Famicom. Um, the Virtual Boy, Sega 32X, Dreamcast, Game Gear, Sega Master System, Sega Mega Drive, Sega CD, SG-1000, Neo Geo Pocket and Pocket Color, PSP, and PlayStation. Oh, you know what? The Final Burn Alpha is the Neo Geo. That's right. Neo Geo. I thought the main, I thought they actually had the final, some other Final Burn Alpha games on here, but no, it's main and Neo Geo. So um, let's, I didn't play any Neo Geo the last time, so let's play a little shooter game here. And as you see, the front end you're looking at is called Retro Boot. Hit uh, select and start. You can save your state still. You can rewind. All the stuff you can do in RetroArch still in here. So let's go ahead and close the content. And then I believe we should just be able to go back here. There you go, back. And now we're back in the screen. Okay, and there you go. You can hit right trigger, right one, to jump letters. In case anyone's wondering about that. Okay, Mortal Kombat. Three, I guess we'll try that. Toasty.
So I know there was a lot of feedback from the last build. So I have a feeling that this should run a lot better. The bar is running pretty good. Oh, I don't know my controls. There we go. Kid. All right, so that's working good. Close the content out. Go back. Um, that should be running just fine. TurboGrafx CD. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's try their Alter Beast version. Rise from your grave. Go ahead and play Dead or Alive really quick. Get ready. And then let's play the last time we did power stone.
to show you. I switch out my controller to the Logitech F710. I have the fob there, so we're now Wi-Fi. It's a great little controller, runs on, I'll put a link in the description, uh, but I wanted to play some Nintendo 64, and this is gonna allow me to do that. this at a garage sale, two dollars. I talked them down to a dollar. It was missing the adapter though. I had to go pay a dollar for the adapter. Okay, anyways, uh, Afterglow. I'm not gonna need, I just want to see if this works. Somebody said the Xbox 360 controller for Looks like the Afterglow one does, the Rock Candy did not. So go with the, I think the brand name is PDP. I'll put a link in the description. PDP, yeah, exactly. Computer. Good job, computer. Two hours later. Yes. When you do download this image, you are going to have to unrar it. You should see some rar files or zip files. Go ahead and right click. 7-zip is a good program. Extract it. I'm left with a folder here. And within your folder, you'll see there's no auto bleam or bleam sync. Um, it's just a it's just a retro boot build, so it's running off a of retro arc. It's not running through Auto Gleam or Clean Sync. And if you go over here to ROMs, you can actually see all the games that are on here. So Atari Lynx, we got 86 games. Atari 2600, we got 560 games. Atari 7800, we got 65 games. Wonder Swan, we got 118. Wonder Swan Color, 98. Colleague Co Vision, 155. Dreamcast, we got one. Uh, we got nine. Uh, Game Gear 313, Game Boy 682, Game Boy Advance 143, Game Boy Color 695, Mame Arcade 417, Sega Mega Drive 937, Nintendo 64 or Nintendo DS 60 or so it looks like. PC Engine TurboGrafx 16 287, PC Engine CD. 145 or so. Super Graphics 5, NES 1300. Wow, that's a lot. I guess there's a bunch of uh, hack in here. Uh, there's also um, Family Computer System up there as well, because there's a Japanese title. Um, 
Neo Geo Pocket Color, 77. Pokemon Mini, 43. PSP, 16. PlayStation, 30. They included the... Ah, oh, that's a Q file. Okay. Sega, Mega, uh, Sega uh, CD. I was going to say Mega Drive. Sega CD. I saw the Mega. Just Sega CD, 50. Uh, no, there's some with C, a bin and Q there. Um, so about 57. Sega Master System, 358. Sega 32X, 36. SG-1077. SNES, over 1,000. So that means there's Super Famicom in here as well. Neo Geo 147, Neo Geo Pocket 16, and Virtual Boy 28. All right, so there you have it, 128 gigabyte build, really easy, pre-made, good starter image. If you want to slap this on a 256 gigabyte thumb drive and then expand on it, totally fine. All your systems are ready, so you want to throw some more PSP games on there or throw some more main games, whatever it is, pretty easy drag and drop, Dreamcast, whatever. Uh, gotta give this one an A. Like I said, the last one, I knew he was coming out with a version 2 at the time, but I knew that it wasn't out yet, so I didn't want to jump to conclusions there. Uh, but here's version 2, and that's why I mentioned that one would go to a B or so later once newer versions came out. And I know other people are working on retro boot builds as well, but for 30 different emulation systems on the PlayStation Classic, really cool stuff. Um, I'm loving it. Like I said, so an A at this point. Um, you know, think about ch ch changing your controller out, and then um, other than that, a lot of it's plug and play. If you don't, if you haven't hacked your PS Classic yet, I have tons of videos and easy to follow steps on that, and I'll put links in the description. Uh, but good work, really digging this. Uh, let me know what you all think. That's what I think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.